Hey guys, so the new, the new subscribers, my name is Tracy, I am a second year medical student um, and I'm just blessed and highly favored. But I'm going through it right now, but I'm blessed and highly favored. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, my name is Tracy A. Uh, welcome, this is this is Ms. Med School Mondays. As you can see, I'm not in the usual place, the usual territory, okay? Um, I'm actually in Illinois. <laughs> Yeah, um, honestly, it's been a journey. You guys haven't seen me for a little bit um, because I've been studying for step one. Step one is basically like a licensing exam and it is step step one of three um, through your med school career. Um, this kind of determines what kind of doctor you can be. It's basically all the basic science that I've been learning for the first two years of medical school or the first two and a half depending on when you take it, depending on your school. So I'll switch into one, one test, eight hours long. And um, I'm in Illinois because I'm basically in a step one boot camp. I decided to make this decision just because I felt like I needed it. And I felt like, I don't know, I just felt like if I didn't, I needed the help. I need the help. I needed the help. And I felt like this was one of the better ways. Um, I would have done Kaplan, but it was a little bit more expensive and it started before I officially ended school. So I wasn't unable to do that. So I'm at the PASS program um, here in Illinois. And it's it's been a lot. This is my second week. Technically, my exam is booked for May 4th, 2018. And that is four weeks from yesterday. I don't even really know how to feel my anxiety. I just can't even think about it, to be honest. And the thing is, like, I always mention it here and there. I'm not the smartest. I'm not the smartest. I feel like it's, I just don't have the confidence anymore that I, that I came in with just because I feel like all the different types of test anxiety that I've built while in my school, things has just, has just changed. And, um... I feel like I needed this to solidify what I know and just to help me as a person because I don't think that I would have been able to do this by myself, to be honest with you. Um, sitting there studying is memorization and I need, and I'm a very theoretical, not theoretical person, but I like physio a lot. And if I can think it through, then I can get the answer. And this is what this place teaches you. So it's like legit, it, it, it aligns me, per it's like, it aligns with me perfectly. The way they teach here is not like it's a me. It's not like it's the best in the in the world or whatever. It but it's different to me, and it's not the way I've been taught. And as I said before, I like to be taught. Like I came to medical school thinking I was going to gain knowledge from my professors, but I learned. I just learned recently, actually, a couple weeks ago, that I was so. I based my education solely on what the professors gave me and not on what I could do for myself. And what I did for myself, I didn't realize it wasn't enough because I didn't have anyone above me to be like, yo, this is what you need to do, this is what you need to do, da, 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 because we're the first ones. And um, the upper years didn't know how to help us because they were their program was a bit different from the way ours is running now. So it was frustrating because I feel like I did everything. I got good grades. Is that at the end of the day I'm saying like, yo, but sis, what did you know? And because I crammed a lot of it, not crammed, because I just tried to memorize a lot of it at the time and never really went over anything and never really linked it together. Like I legit know the body in systems format, but I never saw it as a whole. Like it's a whole body and it needs to be recognized as a whole because everything affects everything. Duh. And it took me a long time to realize that. And all throughout phase two of my studying, that was when we had that month gap where we couldn't went to class, but I didn't go. Um, I was really hard on myself. I was just like, you're so you didn't get nothing done. You don't know nothing. And it's just not, it's not that I don't know anything. It's just that I just couldn't put it together by myself because I expected my friends to do that. And if I'm doing it by myself at home, I feel like I need a continuous, you know, sessions. I'm looking back at my notes from in the past and honestly, I feel like I was just, I don't even know what I was doing. I, I, not to get, not to say like I'm dumb or anything. It's just that I wasn't studying what was, how I should have been studying for me. And not that it's too late in the game to kind of figure that out, but it's kind of annoying that I just now figured it out. I'm just happy I had the opportunity to come here. I was blessed. I had enough funds to get here and 
do what I have to do. And I'm just, I feel really blessed. And thanks again to Madupe Ayana, Ayana um, for really like saying like, yo girl, do this. This is what you need, this is what you're gonna do. And I'm, I'm excited for what is to come, I'm not gonna lie. But I'm just a bit nervous because my test is in four weeks and we're moving quickly. Like we learn systems in a day, like a whole system is done. Wait, hold on. A whole system is done in one day and that's a bit like scary, just a little bit. Cause it's just like, oh my gosh, so you gotta learn all this stuff right now and go ahead. And I'm in class from what? 6.30 in the morning to 5.30 in the afternoon, evening, and I'm exhausted when I get out. So this is a bit different. This is a, one of the best decisions I've made, and I'm so happy that I made decisions to come here. Yes, I'm homesick, and yes, I don't know different, but I ain't got no service nowhere. It's kind of sad, and it's kind of lonely, because I feel like the world is kind of revolving without me. But hey, we're in med school. I spent Easter here in class, learning about endocrine system, and I was just like, what is this life? Like... Bro, like, this is what's gonna have to happen. You have to make those like, small mini sacrifices or big sacrifices, depending on who you are, for bigger occasions. And I just wanted to let you guys know where I was. I keep promising all these things. I'm not gonna do that no more. You don't see me when you see me. There are more good things in store. I just have to, I have to have the time to edit. Um, I do have a video on this hair, so click the link up there, and all the stuff in the description is stuff is all down below. But during this time, basically this is phase three of step one studying, and I am learning the material, trying to do as many questions as I can a day, even though sometimes I don't I don't hit past like twenty and I'm supposed to be doing eighty according to my school. But um I'm just trying to get through the motions and trying to go through material. And I'm just really, really, really happy that I could get this out to you guys because I feel like you guys have supported me for a very long time. I just want to thank you guys for coming along this journey with me. Yeah, there's really not much to say. I'm in Illinois. There are geese everywhere. They poop everywhere. I don't. I sleep maybe five. I'm trying to get more than five hours a day because I realize I can't function. I like use my brain power in five hours, with five hours. So I'm trying to do better with that. But no, like overall, I just feel like this is hard. It is. It's very, very hard. But I am happy to get it on a ship hopping because I want to take my test May 4th. And if I can, I will. If I can't, then I'll postpone it and then we'll, I'll come back with an update. Just send me the good vibes, send me prayers, because this test kind of determines a lot for me and for any medical student. And everyone's like, oh, it doesn't matter when you move forward, but you also don't want to fail. You don't want to like just pass either. You want to do relatively well. So whatever field that you, you, you figure out you want to do is what you end up doing. You don't want to end up like, I want, imagine if I wanted to do like, let's see, neurosurgery, which I don't think I would want to do. But I'm doing neurosurgery. My, my, my score needs to be high enough. And imagine if I get there and I'm like, yo, I want to do this, but then my score is not even good enough to get my foot in the door. So that's what I fear. But right now, the only fear of mine should be to how am I going to push forward? And I feel like with the support system that I have, it's going to happen. It's just it's going to take a while, but it's going to happen. But I'm really, really happy and excited to get this on. Like, I'm just excited because I'm learning and the things are connecting. I just need to sit and I'm seeing progress. My U worlds are doing better. Um, I am vlogging, not doing too well at it, but. You know, I have mad vlogs, I just need to edit and I'll probably won't do that till after my exam, so sorry. Not sorry. But um yeah. Once again, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Comment what you're studying for right now as we speak. I know a lot of people have just gotten over some uh spring break stuff. And let me know what your majors are down below. Alright, peace, love, and harmony, and make sure you take care of yourself because self-care is so important for just you to just be an individual you're human so act like you take care of your body the whole thing all right all right guys stay blessed Peace. i forgot to mention it's cold it is so cold up here like it is below 20 my room is always freezing um yeah we have a heater but i live down in the downstairs portion not the basement the downstairs okay but you know it is cold over here um i wake up with the sniffles you know i, I wake up with my feet and my toes and my fingers numb numb okay and also why in the world it's, it's just no sun out here like there was sun today but it was cold it's like below 20.
What is going on? I didn't dress for this. I thought it was gonna look cute with my t-shirt. No. It's cold. Okay, it's cold.